Hello family, welcome to another beautiful edition of Annie Otto's channel. In today's edition, I am going to be making Nigerian buns. Uh-huh, Nigerian buns. So if today is your first day watching me, please hit the red button that says subscribe and you will be among the very first people that will be notified whenever I post something new. If you are a returning friend, well, we share. Please, thank you so much for coming back. Do not forget to share, link up your friends, your neighbors or whoever that might need this information. All right, guys. So these are the ingredients for this special buns. I have my sugar over here. Most of the time I prefer using honey, but I have a very good sugar in the house. So I'm using this organic sugar. I have extra virgin oil olive oil for frying you can always use any oil of your choice i have butter baking powder orange yes that's a special twist to this an egg nutmeg salt powdered milk that's another twist you can use liquid milk water or any liquid of your choice and taste i have my all-purpose flour of course and i have my juicer over here manual juicer all right guys <music> my sifter here i'm gonna sift the flour so you do this just in case there are some particles or some molded or flour balls so that will help you to eliminate those so make sure you okay so this is done looking good so i have my dry ingredients here so i have the powdered milk the baking powder the sugar the nutmeg and a pinch of salt okay you can add so you mix thoroughly so always mix the dry ingredients first you can use your hand if you want but i'm gonna use this for now okay so i'm gonna be squeezing this orange just to get the juice you can use electric squeezer or you can use the manual squeezer so it depends on your preference or what you have handy mm -hmm, that one is done then i'm gonna squeeze the other half of the orange So I got about half cup of orange juice approximately. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm gonna keep that aside. And if you like, you can always use um, orange zest. Okay, guys. So over here I have the egg. That's the one egg. I'm gonna whisk it. And I have my butter. I melted it and I allowed it to cool before using it so just mixing it all in all right so at this time i'm going to pour it into the flour you know the pre-mixed flour that i have already added all the dry ingredients yep yeah so if you can see this went into the middle so there was already dug a hole in the middle yeah i'm gonna gradually mix this so as I'm mixing this, you can use your hand if you prefer. So the orange is here. I'm going to be adding it gradually so that my butter won't be too watery. Again, you can always use water if you prefer, please. Okay. Then the rest of the oranges. Okay, guys. So I don't know if you're seeing this butter very well. Let me move this stuff out of the way. Mm-hmm. So what I did here, because it was a little too thick after adding the orange juice, so I added extra half a cup of 2% milk, as you can see, extra cup of, uh, half cup of 2% milk, okay? So this is what I mean by half a cup. I used this measurement right here. So in other words, I had half cup of orange juice and half cup of milk, okay? So you can always substitute with water if preferred. It doesn't have to be orange juice or milk okay but again the milk gives it a very very distinctive taste as well as the orange juice does so it depends on what you want especially if you're making these buns for family or you're making it for a party you know your house party or maybe some friends you know but again this is not something um that is going to be commercial because it's going to take a whole lot to make unless you really want to do it 
you're welcome to. So after this, you see the consistency? Mm -hmm. It's sticky. Very, very sticky. Okay. So after this, you cover it with, um, with foil or with cloth, a very clean kitchen cloth. Cover it tight and keep it in a cool place for about 30 minutes before frying it. Because to get absolute crunchiness of the buns, it got to be cold. Cover, you can always use foil, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so our oil is warm. So I have a little oil in this little cup just to be dipping my finger so that this won't be too stick. You can also use ice cream scooper. So one good thing about buns, please, it needs uh, your full attention and it doesn't take too long to get done. And also make sure you have enough oil in your frying pan or frying pot, whatever you're using. Okay, and always um, give it your full attention. Yep, so that you can monitor the heat. So the heat is not supposed to be too high, just medium is good so that the buns will be able to be done from the inside. Otherwise, the outside might be brown, then the inside will still be fresh butter. So we need to be very, very careful with that, okay? Yeah, so you see how I'm doing it? Yeah, so you mold the quantity you want, then you push it towards the oil, you see? See what I have? Then this is what I'm doing. You just mold it round. You drop it into the oil. So that's going to help it to mold. And again, make sure you pay attention to these buns so that you'll be turning it very often so that it can brown all around and evenly. Okay. So I'm going to give it like a first turn. Like I said, I want this to be evenly done. So that's how uh, you do it to get it evenly done. You give it a first turn. Immediately you see that it have started browning, then you keep turn, you start turning them, okay? So if your buns happen to crack, that's even better. That's how crunchy it is, okay? So this is not puff puff, it's buns. Yep, crunchy buns. That's why it cracked. Our buns is browning very beautifully and evenly, just the way I want it. So this is exactly how I want this to be. Mm-hmm, you see? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So far so good. This is awesome. So look at the buns. So I had paper towel in this um filter pan to make sure it doesn't um to help it drain any excess oil, any extra oil. Look at this buns looking so good. Hey. Huh? Mm -hmm. Looking so so good and delicious. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's the Nigerian buns. Let me break one of these and show you the inside. Ooh, it's very hot. You see? Mm. Mm mm mm. Mm, very nice and crunchy. Mm. And it's hot. Looking so crunchy and cool. Uh-huh. Yep, that's exactly how buns should be. So the crack is allowed in buns because this is not puff. This is crunchy buns. Yep, and it tastes so, so good and delicious. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching another beautiful edition of Annie Otter's channel. Please stay safe. Don't forget to share, comment, and love my videos. Bye, guys. Bye. I love you. Mm.